and they're gone. That being all the VTuber talents associated with Cometa, a VTuber agency in the Philippines, as recently their talent Elaine had graduated, citing the reasons for leaving being health reasons, and then alerting her viewers during her graduation stream, revealing that the role of Elaine would have her replaced. Following feedback and backlash, Cometa then changed plans slightly, stating that all the content for Elaine would stay and not be removed and that whoever next fills in for the role of Elaine would have an altered look and model. Cometa currently has two other VTubers associated with their agency, that being medic VTuber Miria and military officer Virgil. As here now, we have a notice regarding Miria and Virgil's graduation from Cometa Virtual Live, addressing their supporters and saying, we regret to inform you that our talents, Miria and Virgil, will be graduating from Cometa on June 26, 2023. This is decided after lengthy discussions about non-renewal of contract that occurred late April and findings on recent actions that have impeded production. Their graduation streams are scheduled on Monday, June 26 at 6 p.m. for Virgil and 8 p.m. for Miria. This statement continuing, we have decided to completely retire their corresponding IPs and assets. Please wait for future announcements regarding our policy on their legacy content, meaning that at this time we do not know if any of their content will be removed or not. The statement also saying we will be extending courtesy with fan letters and presents for Elaine, Miria, and Virgil until the end of July. Miria taking to Twitter to say, my dearest Famiria, there's still a little bit of time left, so let's spend the rest of our days together making more happy memories till the very end, knowing that I will always and forever be thankful for everything. Love you all. Let's meet again soon. That last line leading to some speculation, as unsurprisingly, Virgil is even more direct stating don't worry Virgil lives in spirit find me when I'm gone we have a little bit of time together and I'll forever cherish you all I'm sorry it's come to this I always wanted the best I love you all forever save your tears for when we do our graduation stream so one talent possibly alluding to and another talent outright coming out and saying that they should be able to be found even after their graduations and unless we have a debut in June this means that Cometa will have no active VTubers at the time of these graduations. Miria also sharing lining up to bow merch. I really wanted the hat, but apparently it was sold out yesterday already. Got myself a charm instead. I love the seashell clasp. Also, I got hugged by bow. I was honestly dumbfounded because she hugged the people in line since she had to go. That being at the Conquest Festival 2023, a convention held in the Philippines and being attended by our very own co-host, Cody. Earlier showing this photograph of his and saying the artist floor is at capacity and rammed. I'm still trying to get it. Good luck for everyone else. I heard they sold out of tickets today and sold more. Why? Questions like these leading to Conquest to send out this statement, beginning with, hey, Questers, we apologize for the unsatisfactory queuing situation today. There are no reasons we can provide when it comes to this other than that we made a mistake and underestimated the fan demand for the event. Accommodations include longer event hours, no longer accepting people in the lines outside of the venue and automatically refunding those who have not claimed their passes. Once again, the Jiggly Whale Girl Bow is attending the event, complete with merch that is either selling out or not arriving. Alongside is guild leader Shoto, with the two of them also holding panels and meet and greets. Those plans also experiencing delays. Faye remarking here, I thought this was a Bow segment suddenly. It's Shoto. Bow quote retweeting, they forgot about me. I don't know when I'm going on now. Val thankfully finding time to perform later, saying I practiced a ton for this performance. I hope I sounded okay. And regarding that merchandise, once again confirming that the Bao hats are sold out. The postcards were forgotten at home. Shoto and Bao fans have been converted to posters. Then further updating, just kidding, the Shoto and Bao prints aren't arriving until Sunday. Manufacturer actually screwed us so hard, I deeply apologize. Bao adding, I'm crying. Thank you very much, Anya. Or visiting my booth and airdropping me literally the cutest art piece ever. Whale Girl receiving this work that says thanks for visiting the Philippines. Shoto would also update that loads of his merch also was selling out. And after his performance 
stating there was such a huge crowd for my stage segment. I was so nervous. Thank you guys for coming. And today is the day. Quickly turning to our co-host, Heidi. That's right. It's her balloon day. A very happy birthday to this co-host. Today also premiering an original song entitled Game Boy. Highly recommended. Check it out with the link below. And also feel free to leave happy birthday wishes in the comments below. As next, we turn to V Shoujo. Checking in with their anime boss and Georgia made VTuber, Kaysan. Earlier becoming a major winner, V Shoujo tweeting out big congratulations to Kaysan on achieving her dream of being featured in both Like a Dragon Gaiden and Like a Dragon 8. That's right, not only did Kaysan make it into one Yakuza game, but now two. Winning the top prize of 1 million yen, which is 7,000 USD. Good friend Giri celebrating here. As another friend, Kamashiro Taishi would translate for Kaysan. I got the Grand Prix at Like a Dragon's very last cabaret hostess audition. This fact alone gives me such mental fortitude I know for a fact that nothing anyone says will ever get me down again. And also confirming that the prize money was not tax exempted. That is, we also have the first look at the Kaysan Nendoroid currently in the works. That alongside another V Shoujo Japan talent, Amamiya Nazana's Nendoroid shown here. And that's not all for V Shoujo as here we have the ever recognizable Iron Mouse. Yep, that's her. Featured here in this Sailor Scout inspired Dust Doctor work, having earlier attended Momocon, stating my favorite part of being a VTuber is getting to meet all of you guys at conventions. That is Iron Mouse is now on day three of her second subathon, confirming that the subathon will end at the end of this month, owing to all the plans that V Shoujo has beginning next month at Anime Expo. Iron Mouse not only promising loads of surprises in the months to come from V Shoujo, but also clarifying that yes, she has been planning her very own VTuber awards show for quite some time, hoping to invite numerous corporate and indie VTubers alike. Let's take a listen. Ian only? No, we wanted to, we wanted to, we wanted to allow ev as many, as many groups, as many categories, as many things as we can, which is why we've been uh, talking behind the scenes and stuff and uh, picking out a venue and doing, doing, doing some fun stuff, you know? It takes some time to plan. We've been planning this for a long time. <laughs> Iron Mouse taking to stream today and showing off this brand new model. Dang, thank you to Epibee and Iron Vertex for bringing me into this new form. Iron Vertex is Enma showing off this trickster show reel, complete with loads of masked options, a mascot figure, glasses and sunglasses, along with a coatless version. And now we're back with Hall Live English's Takanashi Kiara, taking part in Aki Rosenthal's 3D live concert for her fifth anniversary, stating I appeared at Aki Senpai's live. It's actually my first time being a guest at someone's 3D live performance. Thank you so much for inviting me, Senpai. Also surprising a number of viewers saying, I'm super tired, but I'm in the connected lands from America. Possible 3D stream collab with Ame. That being Hall Live English's Amelia Watson, earlier celebrating a happy Bubba Day. Kiara talking about her time in the land of the free, saying, oh yeah, right, American drink sizes are basically plus one or plus 1.5 from European ones. While also sharing this very sad burger tale. Tweeting, I'm staring at my burger sadly right now because I think I was given the wrong one. Why God? Why must you punish me? Further with Hall Live English, we do have Nina My Eninus, as Hall Live English would release a brand new video starring this priestess. That video entitled, The Day Arriving 24 Hours Prior to Two Days in the Future from Now. That's right, recreated in a 3D animation was the infamous Tomorrow meme featuring Ina. While also featuring Ina is her brand new cover song, the Inanis virus account saying Kiwawa got competition, wondering if this was an Amogus reference, and further tweeting, I'm trying to be say so here, so please understand. Forgive me, I'm trying. However, I'm weak to this. Releasing alongside, we have this new outfit celebration merchandise. It's a not a bad end t-shirt, a one size fits all cotton t-shirt matching Ina's very own t-shirt. Further along, Hall Live would release other announcements, saying we would like to inform our fans about scheduled adjustments for 3D streams. We apologize for any inconvenience caused due to the lack of operational arrangements for the 3D streams from our new studio. We have decided to adjust the stream schedule of some of the upcoming talents after consulting with them regarding their schedules. There have been some problems with studio equipment, which have affected the streams of talents using the studio. We're currently working on resolving the equipment problems in parallel with a 
establishing an internal operation system. We will inform you of any changes as soon as the details are finalized, but we would appreciate if you could wait for the announcements from the talents themselves. Next up from Hall Live English, Series Fauna is soon to make her Hollow Gras debut. With this tweet originally saying the keer, but now correctly retweeted out as the keeper of nature goes on a rampage. As next with Hall Live English, we also have this height collab giveaway. Entrants could be eligible to win this PC and play mat. The tweet confirming that this particular giveaway ends on the same day as the upcoming Hollow EN concert, that being July 2nd, and entitled Connect the World, despite this giveaway being only for North American residents. That's not all from Hall Live, as here we have Hall Live Indonesia's Crazy Ali changing around her name and profile picture due to losing a punishment game. Earlier, having released a brand new cover song and taking to Twitter to ask, would you dunk ice cream on me for $1 million? That request followed up by Dust Doctor here, giving the disclaimer right in the work that it's ice cream. All while Lily is asleep, got a little sussier, getting that bag with this piece. And even sussier than that, we have this plus $1 million. KG has her saying, sorry, Ollie, but it's $1 million. And that's not all for Ollie, as she was announced as a guest that alongside Hall Live Indonesia's Vestia Zeta. The two on August 27th joining the Soul PopCon. Jazz Jack celebrating that announcement with this Soul Popcorn. Lastly, with Hall Live, we have Hollow Tempest member Magni Desmond. Now we're releasing his brand new original song, Copium, alongside release merchandise, including a tall mag mug, Copium Club Coaster, and Copium Club Invitation. Now we're checking in with Idol EN's Ren Penrose, celebrating nearly 350,000 YouTube subscribers, that alongside Niji Sanji English's Scarla Unaguni. Ren earlier taking to Twitter to inform her viewers about a passing of a very beloved pet, informing Noodle passed away yesterday. He had been having health issues since March, and the past few days they became insurmountable. This all happened hours before my stream yesterday, so I'm sorry that it may have felt off. Since I've already taken a lot of time off recently, I'll be trying to continue streaming as per usual. Management has suggested more time off, but I've already wasted enough time being on break as is. Apologies in advance for any sudden cancellations in the near future. Further adding, I don't want anyone feeling down for my sake and don't want this to affect my work, but I'm sorry I have to break this news to anyone who enjoyed the few moments Noodle was part of my streams. Going on to add, Noodle passed away peacefully, surrounded by family, and is now buried in his pajamas with his favorite toy next to his old rival, Tomcat. Miss you, funny man. Ren going on to collaborate with the Ofkai Expo, holding a beauty pageant with the prize being one full pass to Ofkai. That as the Dark Horse, the beauty wizard would go on to win. And we're also all winning today as Ren would release her first cover, saying, I tried to have sung Yoni Yona Dance. Also recently releasing a cover was Prism Project's Nana Nan. Finishing up the Prism High series and collaborating with fellow Prism Project member Iko Hoshifuri for a high school musical cover. But the big news is Nana Nan is pregnant with Ligma, saying unfortunately I'll be taking a break from streaming until I feel better. I am so sorry I have to take another break so soon after getting off my most recent one. Hopefully I can get well before my birthday so I can celebrate with you all. Prism Project sending out Let's Send Nan our best wishes and our support. We hope that our purest bunny ah! will feel better and return soon. Bringing us now to Abaki Pam, the CEO of PlayAsia, also announcing her pregnancy with Ligma revealing the results of her test and saying, I feel like I'm dying. Please let me make the bad joke. I need the copium. Further showing her temperature and saying, I was going to fly to Akon today, but just kidding. The only con I'll be going to is BedCon. Then after having attended Anime North and picking up these goods, saying yesterday's bad financial decision was I saw VTuber stickers and bought every mutual. And to be honest, no regrets. These pieces once again coming from Churubo with one or two of them looking very familiar. And now it's time for Phase Connects, Chisaka Irie doing her best to block fellow gen mates and receiving not just 51, but 99 important notifications from YouTube, many of these being copyright claims. Irie going on to take a short break
break for the remainder of the week, but not before celebrating that Lumi got banned from Twitter. Let's go. That being Face Connect's Kaneko Lumi, returning to Twitter with this free Lumi artwork and taking part in this meme contest. Monogawa Sheena saying, I will be hosting a meme contest for our new Phase Invaders with Pippa Pipkin and Kaneko Lumi. Entries for this meme contest end on June 5th, with prizes being either a weekend pass at Ofkai Expo 2023 or a full set of Phase Invader standees. Also having some fun with YouTube was my Hollow TV's Carrot Karomi, showing off this screenshot and asking, am I just too sexy for YouTube? What's the issue? I can understand for the unarchived karaoke streams, but what's wrong with Tetris? Omiya Emma replying, YouTube has been doing this to lots of VTubers lately. I got this as well. It really sucks. They hate VTubers now. As even being struck was the 10, <coughs> excuse us, 11K celebration stream and receiving this artwork. Bricks is saying, looking forward to more fun memories with you and the Karomis. And now we're back with the cooking VTuber Geary. Having finally received her animation from the very controversial Studio Cell and now celebrating over half a million views in only two weeks time. That is Geary also announced the Oni Bro plush. These being fulfilled from U2's beginning on June 9th. Geary saying, roses are red, violets are blue, Oni Bro is disgusting. That's it. That's the poem. Hog online poggers. And that's not all as we also have Obi Katie Cat releasing her own plush from Makeship. Alerting us Cheddar has escaped the Makeship facility. They are super fluffy, puntable, an excellent torch with glow-in-the-dark eyes, and will bite home invaders. Cat being added to this my fave VTubers list on Twitter and responding, stuff like this makes my day. I don't deserve you lot, so thank you for sticking around. Also releasing merchandise is the Cyber Girl Chibi, filling just fine here, as animated by Ronnie, with Chibi once again teaming up with Uwu Market and producing this. This. It's the Chibi Doki Forehead Mouse Pad. Chibi stating the real wrist support is a fat forehead. I got you covered. And not so covered is Rosuri. Also releasing new merch, including charms, prints, and a plushie. And further taking to Twitter to alert us, if you see merch like wall scrolls and posters of my art and cons right now, they're all bootleg merch. The only conventions I'm participating in are Anime Expo and Dakomi in July. I'm getting lots of reports from fans and friends telling me they saw my art and very conventions worldwide. Thank you for spending time taking pics and informing me. As who is also worldwide is unnamed. Usan taking to Twitter to say, okay everyone, I'm done with you calling my live 2D cake list. Originally Connie Mama gave me this beautiful cake at draft but I asked Mama to remove it. Guys it's all about preference. As here we have the more cakeified Usan which uh, I, I I can also uh, I can I can also um, totally, uh, totally confirm that I also just so happy to ask for less cake. Yeah, that's what happened. And not the exact opposite, where I asked for it and was never given it. Time and time again. Usan also taking some time in the Philippines, streaming to those exclusively at Conquest, having now also released new merch, saying all of them were made with a lot of love by me and my manager, so I hope you will all enjoy them. These pieces including a standee, badges, keychains, light stick, wallpapers, cards, and even a hologram pouch. Lucius Merriweather further remarking. I was speaking with Usan and wondering as to the significance of their use of roll video instead of lore video. I thought it had a deeper meaning due to the consistency of its use and how deeply Usan thought about so many things. When I asked them about it, they simply said, oh, it's a spelling mistake. I'll go fix it. And we have even more announcements. Checking in with Omocat, promising a virtual debut coming up on June 9th, teasing us with this silhouette, which may or may not be similar to this artwork drawn for the free postcards that come with Omocat orders. And hey gamers, it's Vienna, the Dragon VTuber sharing the EA app literally bans the word VTuber. WTF. Further showing here, nothing works and that's a good thing. Vienna further sharing this direct message addressing the Gamer Dragon with Hi Vienna Dragon VTuber. Are you a gamer? Check out this awesome FPS game launched on Web3. Trust me, I saw you are into gaming so I wanted to share this awesome game 
same with you. This coming from a project entitled Haven's Compass. Vienna responding, as a certified gamer, he almost got me. Better luck next time. Then as we wish, better luck next time to Rainy, the British Android VTuber. Taking to the beach with fellow British VTuber Shizuko. And then later sharing from YouTube, Neil doesn't like anime girls in swimsuits. Shizuko offering this correction, saying Neil doesn't like Stimpke Bacchus. Rainy today also showing off in VR chat her brand new 3D motorcycle outfit, which is filled with hopes, dreams, and outright lies. Ronnie going on to respond with this artwork and saying, Rainy outfit is very cool. As next, we also have Sky at Sky Above Me underscore art, showing off some character art here and self-describing as a half-demon, half-human artist that loves to draw booba. So much so that when celebrating 23,000 followers on Twitter.com, this artist would celebrate by drawing even more booba. That leading to more followers and then leading to more artwork. Most recently culminating in this brilliant piece with Sky sharing from 23 to 83 in five days. Where did you come from? That's right. 60,000 Twitter followers in less than a week. That all while finally we check in with our birthday co-host Heidi. Take it away. Hi, hi everyone. Starting off, we check in with VTuber group VT Rainbow, whose members will be making an appearance at Ofkai Expo, including returning members of their first wave, such as Roy Kiato, formerly known as Roy Zoga, who had held their debut just recently. Though VT Rainbow had also revealed the many members of their second wave today, adding a total of 10 more VTuber friends to the group, some of which who have already debuted and some who have yet to, such as Adora Bunny, who will be debuting on the 11th. So, if you're hoping to meet some of these lovely talents, as well as many others at the upcoming Ofkai Expo meet and greets this month, VT Rainbow's Marina gives us a code here to grab a badge for $10 off. But VTuber agency Production Kawaii also gives us another exciting event that you'd want to grab at, with a sale of their online streaming tickets for their very first live concert out now, with an unlimited number of these tickets available as well. So look out for these talents as they perform Forever Bloom in LA. You can also be sure to see Lua Asuka, who had recently celebrated her birthday, and also organizing together her birthday thon, holding her first stream yesterday and the second part later today. Lua shares with us here her birthday thon goals, with the highest goal being the talent's first ever original song. But while the birthday thon goes on, Lua plans to give us a song cover in the meantime, along with her fellow talent Nene Amano, as the two will be releasing both a lyric video and MMD version of their cover of Yoa Sobi's Idol, premiering on both their channels tomorrow, starting off with Nene. And another VTuber who gave us an Idol by Yoa Sobi cover recently is Prism Project's Ami Amami, as the talent thanks us all for 5k views on her cover, but also asking us which songs she should cover next. That bringing us to Monami Month, taking place June 5th through the 30th, with Ami calling and reaching out to make VTuber friends, dedicating this month to collab on stream or in song covers for anyone interested. And lastly, we take a look at V4 Mirai, an English-based VTuber project under Brave Group, a Tokyo-based production group who operate other known groups like Vispo, as they announce the upcoming debut of their first generation, starting off with Princess and Songstress Serena Maiko, and later with magician and comedian Abi Katabura. Serena and Abi will be making their debut on June 10th, and you can even join fellow VTuber Utano Pandora for a debut watch-along. And that's all for me. Back to you, False. Thank you again, Heidi. And once again, Heidi's original song, Game Boy, is out now. You can check it out with the link below, and also feel free to send her birthday wishes below in the comments, as that is all for this episode. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. A happy birthday to our co-host, and we'll have more things VTubers say for you soon.